Hey guys, Ryan Rose here, and I want to show you um, a, uh, a little video on what to do if you're trying to teach your horse something, but they're distracted. So normally I call this the don't eat grass game because commonly people's horses get distracted by grass. In fact, I, sh I recently had a video um, that I call the three circle game showing that and I had several people ask me, well, I was doing it on grass and my horse kept diving down for the grass and it was made it really difficult to teach. So I thought I would show this. So, the idea is you want to have one variable at a time. So right now I want to teach him to circle this. So make believe that the grain I have for him is the grass. I don't have grass. We're up here wintertime Wisconsin. No grass anywhere. <laughs> so um, I put down some of his favorite uh, oats and grain and uh, you can see he's diving in after. Let's say I was trying to teach him the three circle game and as I was doing it, he kept diving down for the grass, which in this case is the grain. So I'm going to show you what I would do. So essentially, I have to make it difficult for him to go for that if I didn't ask him to eat that. So you're going to see, I'm going to give him cues to say, now you have permission to eat grain, or unless you feel the cue, you should not dive down for it. So right now, I'm going to make it uncomfortable for him if he chooses to eat grain. I'm going to do that by tapping him on his hip. And this is a, a two-year-old that I have here in training. Uh, his name is Shogun, two-year-old quarter horse. So we're just doing some groundwork with him at the moment here. So I'm going to start tapping here and I'm going to say, don't eat grass. Now I put the stick in front because I also don't want him to walk forward when I do that. I don't want the tap to mean um, go forward. He's going to eat grain. So I'll tap him there. I'll push him over here just so you guys can see. And I literally just pulled him out of the pen. He's pretty fresh, but I wanted him to be a, oh, he's going for the grain. Now I'm going to tap him before he gets to the grain because if he gets a mouthful, it might have been worth it for him. <laughs> you know what I mean? He might be like, oh, well, that was worth it. Don't go forward. See, I'm blocking him because I don't want that tap on the butt with the stick to mean, um, to mean go down for it. So again, he's a, he's a little fresh and feisty because we just pulled him out. But um, I wanted to do that to show you a horse that would give me a little bit of try here. <laughs> it would at least attempt to go to the grain. You, now you can see he's not just diving down for it right now. And I'm rubbing him on the hip with the stick. So I don't want him to think just because I'm moving this around him that I'm always going to tap him with it, okay? So you can see he's not afraid of the stick. Um, his energy is up a little bit. It's cold out and he hasn't been worked with very much lately. So I tap him again there. But I needed to catch him a little sooner there because he did get to the grain. So you can see he's got a mouthful. So every time I, I feel his brain switch to I'm going to go for it, that's when you're going to see me put a little pressure on with the stick. Oh, he's going for it. If it was grass, I would probably let him go for it a little bit more, but this grain, he can get a pretty good mouthful. Um, and now you're going to see me get just a little bit firmer with it because he's still, he's still testing it. So he's learning a little bit of self-control here. And uh, I'm working on the same thing just with pizza. So we've got to have a little more self-control to just not die for it if I haven't given him permission. Now, once he can stand here over the grain and not go for it confidently, that's when I can start adding in a cue and say, now you can eat grain. Um, there's a video um, that I'll, I'll probably try to, I'll try to find it and tag it in the link below that's called, I think it's called Ron Pine Feeding Time. It's one of the best examples of a horse's um, having uh, self-control and willpower to wait <laughs> until they were told they can eat. Um, so again, make it a little uncomfortable over there. I'm going to put him back into position. He's like, well, if I come over here, can I reach for it? Nope. There we go. He was kind of going for it again there. Again, if I, if I let him get a handful of it, which I normally would if it was grass, he can then sit there and chomp on it. <laughs> and so I don't think that's uh, going to be effective. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop him before he gets to the grain. But again, normally if it was grass, I would actually let them commit to eating grass before I tap them. So you guys just have to fill in the blanks there for me. So again, that Ron Pine feeding time video shows where he lowers his hand down and those horses go to the feed pan. And um, that's what, that would be my cue that I would use to tell him, okay, now you can eat. Now you can eat grain. But I wouldn't do that right away. In fact, I'd probably do this five days or so of the don't eat grain game, um, don't eat grass game before I ever said, okay, now you can eat grain. 
So you can see now he's smelling my hand. He's getting curious about me. He's not immediately diving down for the feed. And you'd have to build up how long they could have this mental. Oh, see, that was really good. You could see he was thinking about it, uh, but they chose not to. He had enough self-control to not dive down for it. Now he's giving me the what for because he's going, hey, you put this grain in front of me and then tell me I can't eat it. Yep, that's what I'm telling you. The next thing, like I was talk getting to there, is I would actually give him a cue. So what I'm going to do now, and he doesn't know this cue yet, so essentially I'm going to now give him permission to eat grain. But I want him to know the difference. When is he allowed to and when is he not? He's only allowed to eat it if I give him permission. Here's the cue. I'm going to bring my hand down. He doesn't know what that means yet. So now I'm going to bring him forward. And say, now you can eat grain. So now I'm giving him permission. So that's the sequence. That way, I'm not just the ambassador of no here saying, no, 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 don't eat grain. But he needs to have the patience to wait for me to say, yes, you can go ahead and eat that. Not just take it anytime he pleases. But when you're working with your horse, make sure you pick one variable at a time to work with. If they're distracted, if they're calling out to the other horses, if they're trying to eat grass, their mind, their attention is not going to be on whatever it was you were trying to do. So make sure you remove the distraction, get them connected to you, and then continue uh, working on whatever it was you wanted to teach your horse. So make sure you go out and give it a try. And um, if you want to see other videos that I've created um, along this idea, check out my YouTube channel, Ryan Rose. Make sure you click subscribe so you get those videos in your inbox um, every time they're posted. All right, thanks for watching.